The night was draped in darkness as Rashid made his way back from a relative's wedding in the small town of Fijanagar, nestled in the heart of Bangladesh. He was a middle-aged businessman, a man of logic and reason, not given to the whims of superstition. As he navigated the winding roads leading back to his home, little did he know that the night would weave a tale of the supernatural that would shake the foundations of his rationality. The clock struck midnight, and the air was thick with an eerie stillness as Rashid approached a desolate area on the outskirts of Vijayanagar. Towering trees formed a dense forest-like garden on either side of the road, their branches entwined overhead, creating an otherworldly canopy. Moonlight struggled to penetrate the thick foliage, casting haunting shadows that seemed to dance in the windless night. Rashid's car hummed along the narrow road, its headlights piercing the inky darkness. A chill ran down his spine as he entered the shadowy realm of the forest-like garden. Unfazed, he told himself it was merely his tired mind playing tricks on him. The wedding celebrations had been joyous, but now fatigue gripped him, making the journey home seem longer than usual. As Rashid drove deeper into the heart of the mysterious garden, he noticed an unusual silence. The nocturnal symphony of crickets and frogs that usually filled the air was absent. Even the wind seemed to hold its breath, leaving only the faint hum of his car engine. Suddenly, the headlights flickered, casting an uncertain glow on the twisted branches that formed a natural archway above the road. A foreboding sense of unease settled over Rashid, and he tightened his grip on the steering wheel, glancing nervously into the rearview mirror. The road behind him was swallowed by darkness, and he couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Just as Rashid was about to dismiss his apprehensions as mere paranoia, the car's engine sputtered and died. Panic set in as he frantically tried to restart it, but the once reliable vehicle refused to respond. Alone in the oppressive silence of the garden, Rashid's heart pounded like a drum. Resigned to his predicament, Rashid stepped out of the car, his breath visible in the cold night air. The forest-like garden seemed to close in around him, the trees whispering secrets in an ancient language he couldn't comprehend. A flicker of movement caught his eye, and he turned to see a shadowy figure standing at the edge of the road. The figure was tall and ethereal, its form shifting like smoke in the dim moonlight. Rashid squinted, trying to make sense of what he was seeing. As the ghostly figure approached, a sense of dread settled in the pit of his stomach. The ghost had a face that seemed to blur and distort, as if it couldn't decide on a single visage. Who, who are you? Rashid stammered, his voice shaky. The ghost remained silent, its spectral gaze fixed on him. Rashid took a hesitant step back, his eyes never leaving the mysterious entity. I mean you no harm, Rashid pleaded, his rational mind waging a losing battle against the rising tide of fear. The ghost spoke, its voice a haunting melody that sent shivers down Rashid's spine. Rashid, you have trespassed into the realm of the forgotten. I am a soul bound to these woods, cursed to wander in search of release. Rashid's disbelief clashed with the evidence before him. This can't be real, he muttered to himself, pinching his arm in a desperate attempt to wake from what felt like a macabre dream. The ghost extended a translucent hand, its fingers reaching toward Rashid. You carry a heavy burden, and I sense the weight of your troubles. I implore you, help me find peace, and perhaps you will find your own solace in return. Despite the logical part of Rashid's mind screaming to flee, an inexplicable empathy compelled him to listen. How can I help you? he asked, his voice barely a whisper. The ghost explained its tragic tale, a life cut short, a love lost, and a curse that bound it to this desolate garden. Rashid, against his better judgment, felt a kinship with the tortured soul. The ghost's story echoed the struggles and heartaches he too had faced in his own mortal existence. Driven by a newfound sense of purpose, Rashid agreed to assist the ghost in finding the closure it sought. Together, they embarked on a journey through the haunting garden, where each step seemed to echo with the voices of the forgotten. As they delved deeper into the heart of the forest, Rashid's perception of reality blurred. Time lost its meaning, and the boundary between the living and the spectral grew thin. Whispers of long-buried secrets brushed against his ears, and the shadows danced to the rhythm of ancient sorrow. The ghost guided Rashid to a weathered tombstone hidden among the gnarled roots of an ancient tree. 
As the moon cast an ethereal glow upon the inscription, Rashid read the name of the soul he had come to know, the name of the ghost who sought release. With a heavy heart, Rashid realized that the key to the ghost's salvation lay in confronting the truth that had bound it to this realm. The ghost's lover, betrayed by deceit and jealousy, had orchestrated its demise, forever cursing it to wander the garden in eternal anguish. United in purpose, Rashid and the ghost confronted the lingering echoes of the past. Shadows manifested into ghostly apparitions, revealing the tragic tale of love and betrayal. As the spectral drama unfolded, the very fabric of the garden seemed to quiver with the intensity of emotions long suppressed. In a climactic moment, the ghost faced the shade of its betrayer, its features contorted with both agony and forgiveness. Rashid, caught in the tumultuous currents of the supernatural, bore witness to the spectral reconciliation that unfolded before him. As the tortured spirits found closure, the forest-like garden trembled, and a radiant light bathed the once darkened path. The ghost, now freed from the shackles of its curse, turned to Rashid with a gaze filled with gratitude. Thank you, Rashid. You have given me the peace I sought for centuries, the ghost murmured, its form dissipating into the moonlit air. Rashid stood alone in the tranquil garden, the weight of the otherworldly encounter settling upon him. The once dense forest seemed to soften, its intimidating shadows replaced by the gentle rustling of leaves in the night breeze. With a sense of profound introspection, Rashid retraced his steps to where his car had been stranded. To his surprise, the vehicle started with ease, its engine humming back to life as if nothing had transpired. As he drove out of the now serene garden, he couldn't shake the feeling that the supernatural encounter had left an indelible mark on his soul. Days turned into weeks, and Rashid found himself contemplating the thin veil that separated the living from the spectral. The experience had transformed him, infusing his once pragmatic worldview with a newfound appreciation for the mysteries that lurked beyond the tangible. Rashid kept the ghost's tale to himself, a secret he guarded like a precious gem. The townsfolk of Vijayanagar would dismiss such a story as the product of an overactive imagination, he reasoned. Yet, late at night, when the moon cast its silver glow upon the forest-like garden, Rashid couldn't help but wonder if the ethereal realm he had encountered truly existed or if it was a spectral dream that would haunt him for the rest of his days.